today I thought I would do the grey hair tag. I'm just not sure that the lighting is very good for my hair in here to be honest. When I'm sat here. Um, I can still tell look. Like, I've got lots of other videos where it's glowing white. <laughs> so. So this is the grey hair tag. So the questions are all to do with grey hair and I thought it would be a really good video to do because I've never really done anything on my grey hair for a long time. So yeah, so I thought I'll do that today. So question number one. Um, how old were you when you started to go grey? Um, I was 13. I remember like my mum, like I was just like, I had like, I had very, I had short black hair. And then like there was this white hair up here and my mum like found it and just like pulled it out. Uh, so that was 13. Then by the time I was like 18 I had loads at the back here when I used to put my hair up at the back. Then by the time I was like 20, like where I had a fringe here, I used to have like a lot of grey hairs across there when I had my fringe, where I had my fringe palmed. And I used to get the tweezers and try and like pull as many of them out as I could. Um, and then by the time I was like 21, I was dyeing it black, like to match, to get cover all the grey ones. Um, so yeah, but 13 was when I first started getting them. <laughs> I'd had a stressful life. <laughs> I had. Um, question number two. How old were you when you decided to trans 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 transition? Um, I was... I was in my 30s the first time, I was like, I think I was about 31 the first time when I tried to, when I did transition um, and then I fell off the bandwagon and felt as though I was old and people were criticising it, like we hit my hair when I wasn't dying it and stuff. Um, so then I dyed it again um, and now I'm like, I'm 48 now um, and I haven't dyed it for, for, for years now and I would never ever die it again, I'd never like, I'd never go back to the treadmill of like having to do it every single week. I just like the freedom of just not bother not having to bother like I just wash it, condition it, and that's it, I'm done. It's like that freedom. So yeah. Did you go to the hairdressers to help with your transition? No. I just cut it all off myself, like really, really short. And just kept letting it come in. Um or did you go cold turkey? Yeah, cold turkey. And what did your hairdresser do to help if you went to one? I didn't go to one. I just kept cutting it myself like short. I kept cutting all the dyed hair off all the time and I had it really really short once. Uh, it's long now. If you haven't seen my videos before, it is quite long now. Although I did cut a fringe in not long ago and I don't think I suited it so I'm growing that back out again. <clears throat> Question number four. What was the reaction of your friends and family? I think some, some of them still don't like it, like natural. Um, but you know after a while they just get used to it and like I think they would find it strange now if they saw us when their hair, hair died, like dark or whatever. Um, and when you're dyeing your hair it never goes your same colour, like your natural colour anyway does it? It always goes like, when it's so white anyway, the base, like my hair being so white anyway, like when you're dyeing it it always seems to go like them funny colours and it washes out straight away and goes them funny like orangey colours and that, I just hated it hate the colours it used to go. It never used to go the colour it was supposed to anyway. But yeah, um, um, as for family, like, I think a lot of them like it now. They like the colour and they like the curls, my natural curls. So yeah, I think that they would give it a thumbs up now. <laughs> um, although, like, I still get reactions from strangers, like, when I'm on the till and stuff at work. Like, say no, like, is that your natural colour? And, and, and what are you doing that for? And and stuff like that but I love it. Back, I couldn't be bothered to go back to that treadmill of just doing it all the time. I couldn't be bothered. Um, favourite thing about being grey? Um, probably like I say the freedom. The freedom of not having to like, having to do it every single week. Um, and also uh, you, got, you have more money. You have more free time. Like now I think, oh, you know, like I would have been dyeing my hair for like an hour or so at home. I mean, I never went to the hairdresser to do it anyway, but still at home it still costs you a lot of money for like hair packets of hair dyes and stuff. It's like, especially if you're doing it like all the time. Um, and like the, the mess, I don't miss the mess of like my 
just a mess my bathroom up. Like, my hair dye everywhere when you're doing it yourself. Uh, so you just have a lot more free time to like do things. Do a bit of colouring up. Go on YouTube. <laughs> watch a bit of videos, whatever. Some more free time. Um, and like in the end, when I was dyeing my hair in the end, I'd dye it for that long that I used to get reactions all the time to hair dyes. And uh, my scalp was always like really, really sore. So, why bother? <laughs> Why put yourself through it? Eh? Um, oh, right there. Number six. Least favourite thing about being grey? I think the least favourite, there's only one thing really. And that's the fact that sometimes it'll go like a little bit yellow. Um, so that's probably the least favourite thing. But then I sometimes use those purple shampoos. I don't use them very often, but maybe once in a while. I'll use them just to take the neutralise it back to the grey. Um, do you receive a lot of criticism for your grey hair? And if so, how do you deal with it? Yeah, like I say, on the tills I do sometimes. People, strangers, will say to me, "Ee, is that your natural colour? And, ee, what you doing that for?" To be honest, I just let it go over my head because it's all about like what I want to do, isn't it? And like it's my life, it's my hair, so I just don't bother thinking about it. As long as I'm happy, that's all that matters. Um. Number eight, what is your favourite compliment you have received about your curly hair? <laughs> about your hair, I mean, about curly hair. Um, it is curly though. Um, I've been told, oh, you look like Marilyn Monroe when I've had my hair longer and it's curled to the side. I've been told, oh, you look just like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Hollywood icon, why not? <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's one of, the, one of the nicest things that people have said to me. But I have had a lot of people say that they love it as well, mind. Um, what was, is your biggest piece of advice to anyone looking to start the process? I would say do it. I would say definitely do it. Like even if you're in your 30s like I was the first time. Or even 20s, I'd just say do it. I mean, your hair should not determine like who you are as a person, should it really? You know, nothing... Things aren't all about like what you look like in life, are they? It's how you are as a person. So I would say do it. There's nothing more freeing than than leaving it natural. Yep, do it. Uh, who is your great idol? Uh, Helen Marin. She she looks always looks lovely with her grey hair. And that woman that was in the Bond movies with the really short hair. She was the secretary woman. That small woman. She always looks lovely with hers, like grey and spiked. I just think it looks really, really nice. But yeah, myself. Why not myself? Like I love, I love it. Like I am, you know, I'm an idol to. I'm like not an idol, but I am like inspiration to somebody else. Like that hasn't done it. So yeah. So that is it. So I'll tag. I tag anybody else that's watching the video um, to have a go at the tag video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to do like a grey hair like review uh, video coming soon anyway, like in depth one, um, because I haven't done a one on my grey hair for a long time. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I've got a really, really cool like um, review video coming soon on this makeup, on Katie Price makeup that I've ordered. So that should be really cool because I've never tried any of her makeup before. So that'll be cool. That's coming really, really soon. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye. I'll give you a look at my hair closer. <laughs>